Hi guys, Ren here. Today I'm going to be trying a crit build with Kokomi. If you guys did not already know, Kokomi has a negative 100 crit rate, but when has that ever stopped us from trying to do crits? By the way, if you guys did not already realize, this is a meme build, so don't actually build your Kokomi this way. So there are actually two ways of doing this. Number one is, just get as much crit rate as possible on your substats with a main stat crit rate circlet and a crit rate weapon. So now, I'm at 23% crit rate. But that's not all. I'll also be using Cryo Resonance for another 15% and Rosaria's passive that transfers 15% of her crit rate to your party members. Yeah, here you see. So you need to get as much crit rate on her as possible also. And Hu Tao has a passive that transfers 12%. Yep, this one. So all this together, plus the 15% cryo resonance, you should be hitting around 70 to 80% crit rate. Of course, you'll be using a food buff for a bonus 20%. So let's try it. Utao, Rosaria, now switch to Kokomi, and I'm at 70% crit rate, actually it's 85% if you include Cryo Resonance. So we're doing 7k crits, 6k crits. Uh, guys, please don't do this. This is a meme build, okay? Let's try it again. This time I'm going to use my charge attacks. Diona, Hu Tao, Rosaria, and NK, 11K, NK, Utao, Rosaria, 10k, 11k. Yep, crit rate works. It's just not worth it. <laughs> 10k, 10k, 10k. But to me, 10k is not enough. Let's go higher. Now, I'm going to show you the second build. For this build, we are still using the Lost Prayer, but I'm using the Blizzard Strayer set. And my Blizzard Strayer has quite decent stats. And of course, the 40% from Blizzard Strayer and the 15% from Cryo Resonance. Although yes, I'm at negative 26, but you also need to factor in a bonus 55% crit rate from the Cryo Resonance and Blizzard Strayer. So on paper, this doesn't look that nice, but it's actually stronger. So let's see all the buffs together. Rosaria. This is 20. Plus 55, that is 75. Is my math correct? Yeah, 75% crit rate. And I'm doing 17k crits. 17.5k crits. Which is much better. So yeah, Blizzard Strayer is better. Seventeen point seven K By the way, my proper Kokomi build is only hitting around eight K, eight K to ten K. Here I'm using the essential oil. Since we are already using food buff, twenty K. 
We're hitting for 20k. Just now I was saying, my proper Kokomi build with the attack percent, HP percent, and healing bonus is only hitting around 8 to 10k. And even with a Viridescent debuff and Kazuha, I'm only hitting for 15k. So this is doing 21k, which is actually not bad, but you need to use your whole team just for it. But in terms of damage numbers only, this is the highest I'm actually hitting, 21k. So Blizzard Strayer, Kokomi is the way to go. Guys, don't do this, okay? You have been warned. This is just a meme build. You know what? This isn't enough damage. Let's take it to the next level. Okay, I'm going to take my food buffs again. Crit rate and crit damage and some hydro bonus damage. And now I'm going to switch my artifact slightly. I'm still going to keep the Blizzard Strayer set, but I'm going to change my off piece. So let's ditch the crit rate. Go for more crit damage and attack. And I'm also going to switch this Lost Prayer to the Wheat Sith. And I'm praying for this 96% elemental bonus damage, the second buff. So let's go. Diona, Rosaria. Oh, I got the second buff. Nice. Oh, 33k. 33k. That's the way, man. And I did it first try. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.